Welcome everybody, Kishi Wyatt from Radiance Yoga here. This practice is very brief. It's for those of you who have been telling me you've been having some back pain. So um, hopefully this will make your back feel better. You will need to have a strap and a blanket, a folded blanket or towel. That's to put under your hips. Also, if you like to have something under your head, have that available as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Blessings. Thank you so much for joining me. We are gonna begin by lying on our backs. Um, have a blanket close by. You will need that for some hip flexor opening. You may want to bring a little pillow under your head as you come to lie down and you will definitely want to have a strap. Inhale, take a full body stretch. Exhale, pull your right knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, both knees to chest, pause here. Rocking from side to side, if that feels lovely. And then coming back through center, bring your feet to the floor, grab your strap. Pull the right knee to chest, strap your right foot as you stretch it straight up to the sky. If you don't have a strap, you could always interlace the fingers behind the right thigh or behind the right um, calf muscle. Point and flex through the right toes. So hamstrings can be a culprit, tight hamstrings, for lower back pain. So anytime we're wanting to alleviate tension in the back, um, stretching our hamstrings is a must. Perhaps you'd like to stretch your left leg straight to get more length, and you'll notice that definitely affects what you feel through the right thighs. And so we're opening up the hips and the lower back. Can you relax the shoulders down and let the neck be very soft? And then be aware of your body breathing. So as we move through this, there will be some intense sensations. If we let breath be the star of the show, we'll be able to soften through the reactions to those intense sensations. Take both straps into the left hand, release the right arm to the side, and then bring the right big toe over the midline of your body, just about four inches. Flex the toes towards the right kneecap, roll the outer right hip away from your right shoulder as the right glutes drop into the earth. Holding here for four, watch your body breathing. Three, imagine your breath is like the ocean waves, two, rising and falling fluidly without resistance, one, inhale your leg up, bend your knee, strap to the side, hug the right knee into your chest, and then we move into a twist. Twists are very important for reducing tension up and down the spine. Your right foot comes to the left thigh, left hand pulls the right knee over your body as the right arm opens to the right. This twist will tell you some great information about where you hold tension on the right side of your body. Close your eyes and dive right into the place where you feel the most sensation and saturate that space with your breath. Imagining that your breath has the magical power, it actually does, the magical power to dissolve tension, discomfort, and pain. And then on your next inhale, you will come up, hug your right knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Hands come down, both feet to the floor. Grab your strap, left knee to chest, strap your left foot, stretch the left leg straight up to the sky. And then you decide about the right leg. It can be bent or you can stretch it straight. Pressing through both heels, flexing your toes. Watch your body breathe. 
Notice any places that are tensing up in reaction to the hamstring stretch. Encourage those places to be soft and quiet. And so it's so important to lengthen the hamstrings because when they are tight, they pull on the pelvis, which will then cause the pelvis to pull on the spine. And the hamstrings are very strong muscles. When they are tight, they um, definitely have a huge pulling force on any other body part that's close by. And then you'll take both straps into the right hand, release the left arm to the side. Your left big toe travels over the midline of your body. Stretch your left leg as straight as possible. So it's not a huge movement of the leg. It's only gonna come about four inches over. Then roll the outer left hip away from the left shoulder, dropping left glutes to the earth. So this is getting that side band of fascia on the left side that also can pull into the back, causing pain and discomfort. Breathing deeply, how calm and quiet can the mind be for four, three, two, one. Inhale your leg up, bend your knee, put the strap to the side, taking the twist, left foot to right thigh, right hand to left knee, pulling the knee over your body. Your left shoulder will be aiming towards the floor. It's okay if it does not totally anchor into the earth. So now noticing on the left side, as you twist, where do you feel tension? And then taking all awareness, all breath, and diving into that space. Powerful breath, dissolving tension. And then your next inhale will bring you up. Hug the left knee to chest. Full body stretch. Hands come down by your side, feet come to the floor. So I have this blanket that's folded in a rectangle. It's not super high. It doesn't take much for what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna get some length through the um, front hip flexors. You could also slide a block underneath your sacrum, so it would be our traditional supported bridge. I'm using a blanket because a blanket is just a little less intense. And I'm gonna slide that underneath my sacrum. You could also use a folded towel. Arms come to the side, then one by one, stretch your legs straight out onto the floor. So this is so simple, right? Hmm, although you'll probably feel something. Um, basically what we're doing is we're pressing the pelvis forward, so it's forward of the spine and forward of the thigh bones. And this is actually a very rare position for our bodies. And what it does is it allows the tension to unravel that we carry in the front lines of our bodies and especially in our hip flexors. Bring your hands to your hips, right to those hip points, and then breathe so big that you feel the hands rising and falling in response to your breath. For four, three, Two, one. Bend both legs, feet to the floor. Hug your right knee into your chest. Stretch your left leg out as much as it will go. Flex your left foot and kick the left heel away from you. So now it feels as though the two thigh bones are actively moving in opposite directions. It could feel pretty intense. The more you kick the left thigh bone away from you and press the left heel into the earth, the bigger the movement will be. So this is incredible for loosening up any connections around the um, inner thighs as well as the front thighs. And then you'll bend the left leg, left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor. 
We'll take that the other way. Left knee comes into chest, hug it in. And slowly stretching your right leg straight. Flexing right toes, kicking the right leg away from you, softening shoulders down. So if you have chronic lower back um, issues, I highly recommend that you at least once a day get in this position where you are lifting your pelvis slightly higher than your spine and your thighs. It really does an amazing job of working out any habitual tension that we have from being in more of a forward facing position, especially if you sit in a chair for your job or for whatever. If you just find yourself sitting in a chair a lot, this is undoing all of that um, forward slumping that tends to happen from sitting. And then you'll bend your right leg, right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. Arms out to the side and goalpost arms. Walk your feet as wide as the mat. Be really gentle here. Rock the knees slowly from side to side. Do not rush. And this will kind of show you where things are still a little bit caught. When you visit those places, those angles, just slowly, slowly start treading into that territory. Remember opening up the hips and the lower back it takes patience, it takes time. Um, it's usually not instantaneous overnight healing, although sometimes there is. Really, it usually takes a daily practice of making that tension move out of our bodies. All right, walk your feet back to hips distance. Now we're moving that blanket out of the way. Lift your hips, slide the blanket to the side, bring your sacrum flat onto the floor. Notice what you feel. Okay, and then one more place for the health of your spine. We're going to roll right over to come to table for our cat-cow rolls. If you have tender knees, please bring a blanket or a padding underneath your knees. Ten of these. Hands more or less under the shoulders, knees more or less under the hips, tops of the feet on the floor, going for major flexion and extension of the spine. Your cow pose is the extension, your heart shooting forward as you look slightly up, the tailbone's reaching up. And then the cat pose is your flexion, tucking the tailbone under, drawing your chin to chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Full breath in. Complete breath out, six, in, out, seven, in, out, eight, two more, how even can you make the curves? Nine, rounding in, pull your belly to spine, push the floor away. Last one. Exhale. Come to neutral. Take the knees as wide as the mat, big toes touch, hips come down, wide like a child's pose. Feel free to stay here in child's pose for as long as you wish. And I will be leaving you now. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. I hope that it 
helps unwind tension in your back and that you're able to move into the rest of your day with a sense of freedom, comfort, and joy. Namaste.